from the Digital Media Center on the campus of Southern Oregon University in Ashland, Oregon. This is Ramping Up Your English, an educational program for intermediate level English language learners. Here's your host for Ramping Up Your English, John Letts. Welcome to Ramping Up Your English. Ramping Up Your English is for English language learners from all language backgrounds who have already begun the process of learning English as their second language. It's a program for people of all ages. If you're seeking greater English proficiency, this program is designed to help you reach that goal. Ramping Up Your English is a support program for English learners who have already passed the beginning stages of learning English. We take a content-based approach to helping you reach higher English proficiency. We use English to teach English. The theme of our first unit is Trains and Railroads. This is episode 21, segment one. We're exploring a bit of the folklore associated with trains and railroads. In episode 20, we went deep into the legend of John Henry. We also took a ride on Amtrak's Cardinal train. Our journey in that segment took us to Thurman, West Virginia. That's said by some to be the area where John Henry did his epic hammering. Let's take a look at this short Smithsonian production about Thurman and its most famous son. If you watched episode 20, you saw scenes from Whitestone motion pictures about John Henry. It had an ending that was different from the traditional ending. There's a link to that video, as well as the one you just saw on my website, letscreate.org. You'll also find links to Johnny Cash's version of John Henry's Hammer, as well as a couple of additional Johnny Cash train songs. We also have a link to Doc Watson's song about John Henry. Go to letscreate.org and choose the episode 20 page. In episode 19, we saw recording artists using trains as a metaphor for joining others in peace and love to make a better world. Trains are also used in music as a metaphor for the trip to heaven after life is over. Here's a song like that from a bluegrass group called Siskiyou Summit with some footage of the Cardinal traveling through West Virginia. track I've traveled took me many miles from my home. I followed fame and fortune to no end. But when I found that I didn't win, I'd be setting out again. Now there's hope coming just around the bend. Cause I'm waiting for the train. Yes, I'm waiting for the train. The glory train is coming. It's gonna take me home again. What life gives me, I'm gonna stay right here. Cause there ain't no place I'd rather be. And when I see the signal and the track is safe and clear, that train to glory is gonna set me free. Cause I'm waiting for the train, yes, I'm waiting for the train. The glory train is coming, it's gonna take me home again. And a bag that's packed to go. Be ready when he hollers all the board. Cause he won't wait very long if you don't know right from wrong. But if you do, you'll travel with the Lord. Cause I'm waiting for the train. Yes, I'm waiting for the train. The glory train is coming. It's gonna take me home again. Yes, I'm waiting for the train. Yes, I'm waiting for the train. The glory train is coming, it's going to take me home again. Take me home, take me home, take me home again. Well,
Welcome back to Ramping Up Your English, a support program for intermediate level English learners who want to improve their English proficiency. If that's you, you're in the right place. So train songs are not always about trains, at least not the trains of this world. In the words, take me home again, has more to do with going to heaven than a travel across the country. If you understand this as a going to heaven song, your listening comprehension is getting pretty strong. Trains and railroad lore can be found in all kinds of music, folklore, fine arts, and movies. In this magazine, Kids Discover, we find our old friend John Henry driving steel. We'll also see the train robber, Jesse James, not a hero, but a train robbery, that's part of this lore, and the heroic engineer, Casey Jones. As far as movies go, one movie that's rich with references to train lore is Polar Express. That movie began with a book, the subject of today's Ramping Up Your English book review. This is a Ramping Up Your English book review. Reading a book about an instructional theme can make English more comprehensible. Seeing a movie based on that book can do even more to develop tools for English proficiency. If you want to have fun doing this, and I suggest making English learning as fun as possible, read Polar Express, written and illustrated by Chris Van Alsberg. This Caldecott Award winner takes readers on a wild fantasy train ride to the North Pole using much of the lore of American railroads. The story begins in Grand Rapids, Michigan in the 1950s. The plot begins when a boy awakes on Christmas Eve to see a train called the Polar Express. The conductor invites him aboard, and the adventure begins. I suggest reading the book first. It has beautiful illustrations that will provide many context clues for the readers. Then rent the movie to see how the story is treated, and of course to see the awesome special effects. A fun way of supporting your English acquisition is to read Polar Express. At the least, it'll be a fun experience, and you'll think of it every time you drink hot chocolate. For Ramping Up Your English, I'm John Letts. Welcome back to Ramping Up Your English. This begins episode two, actually segment two, of episode 21. We began this episode hearing a song about waiting for the train as a step toward reaching heaven. In the next song, a group called the Doobie Brothers do a song entitled Long